Hey YouTube, this is Andrea here, and we are off to our next mini album. Um, I'm going to show you the paper first. This paper is from the paper studio. It's called Haberdashery, and you can get it at Hobby Lobby. There are 60 sheets all together, and I mean they're stunning, stunning pieces of paper in here. Can see that all the way around. I'll just do a little flip through. Now the back of all this paper is craft paper, so it, it is a little strong. It's a lot stronger than um, the regular paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Got a couple of those. I love this one. Got a couple of those. This is beautiful for one of the sh sheets where you want someone to put a photo on because won't this make a beautiful background? We got a couple of those. And then we have these sheets. They have like beautiful flowers. And then this is glitter. It, it doesn't come off, but it's, um, I love the glitter in there. It's just gorgeous. And we have a few sheets that are like this, but in different ways. And isn't this gorgeous? I love that. Oh, I truly, truly love this. This has in it doilies. So it's like you have all these flowers and butterflies, and then right smack dab in the middle of it is a doily. Look at that one. So cute. So, and then I love this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's um, it's got like a shine to it. So that's gorgeous. You know, me and butterflies, I love those. And check out this chair with glitter on it. So cute. So these are our sheets. Here's more with glitter. I love these. Again, putting a, a photo on something like that is going to be really pretty. And then this has that sheen. I don't know what they call it, but it's like a a shiny thing going on there. <laughs> so, very, very pretty. And I know I'll have plenty of paper to do the whole uh mini album with but just in case I don't I wanted you guys to see this one here it's called Theodosia Square and this was 180 sheets that I got uh, from Hobby Lobby for ten dollars and in it it has the same girl here that's right here and some of the pages that's in this one are also in this one. So I won't run out of paper. And look how cute that is. So I'm going to be using both of these. So again, it's uh, Haberdashery by the Paper Studio. And then Theodosia Square by the Paper Studio. And you can get them both at... Um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, let's put those out the way. So here is our book that we're going to be working on. This book <clears throat> is seven and a quarter by five and one quarter. So this side and this side is seven and a quarter by five and one quarter. The spine is Three, three inches by five and a quarter. So once you put those together, then it should look like this when you're done. Because we're doing one of those long ones this time. Last time, we did a six by six squared. So that was the last one. 
And here, we're not doing that squared. We're going to have longer sheets to work with. So it's going to be fun and challenging. You're going to need um, to create... I created six hinges here. And um, you're going to need six base pages. And the, the six base pages are ten and a half by seven inches. And then you're going to score it at five and a half and then fold fold them all in half. And then I'm going to just take one. Then you're going to slide this one onto the first uh, hinge. And then you're going to tape this side. Here, I'll just do it for you and that way you can see how it's done. And anytime you uh, find um, that you might have a question about what I'm doing, please don't hesitate to leave it at the bottom. Uh, like I always say, your question could be a million other people's questions. So no question is, is dumb to me anyway. So... I need that for here so I can close up this side because this is going to be our top pocket here. And then we'll take my little needle tool and I'm going to remove the backing off of that one. And then I'm going to take the backing off of this one and I want to put that up there nice and straight Now I have it on there. Uh -oh. Okay, then we take this tape off and we stick this down. Press it down. And now that that's done, our pocket is here. Somewhere in here. Here you are, pocket. I found you. All right. So that's our pocket, and that's our first page that we've put in. So let's move on to the next page. You got it with these long pages like this, you have to be careful to put them on the right way. Because if you don't, you're going to end up with like your pocket facing down. And all the other pockets are facing up. And you don't want to go through that. Good rub down, make sure it's gonna stick and not pop off on you. All right, 
this one, this side you can actually go ahead and close. <clears throat> Take this off. I'm going to try to not get all in the camera. <laughs> and we sweat the backing off of this one. Ah, oh, coming out of there. You don't want to come out. I think he thought... He could just live there all day. <laughs> and we got page two. How fun. And like I said, this is six pages all together. Twelve if you count front and back. Alright. And we have to take the back off of one of these. Slide our paper in. Take off our backing on this tape. Please know that you can fast forward anytime. Uh, if you get the gist of a particular thing I'm doing, uh, just fast forward and that way you're not feeling like you're stuck somewhere having to watch uh, the same thing that you already just learned. backing off stand up our little soldier here yeah. pull off our tape 
backing. Now you're pressing those two together. Oh, doing good so far. All right. <clears throat> Got two more to go. I think we're making pretty good time right now. Yay. I'll go over a couple of more things you're going to need um, while we put the last two sheets in. So you're going to need a squidgy. This is what I call a squidgy. Um, it's a Cricut scraper. If you don't have a squidgy, but you have a, a Martha Stewart scoreboard like that, the little one, then you can use this to squishy with and it will help you break tape and it'll help you smooth things down and um, it'll even uh, help you slide the backing off the tape. Let's see, see if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that <laughs> to get the backing off the tape with. I'll use my squinty. And that one and that would be that. Okay. All right. Now, there you are. Get this one up. <clears throat> Slide this on. Okay. I press real hard down at the bottom because I want to get that to stick very well. And uh, you leave it loose a little bit in your paper can start to remove itself from the backing. So. All right, last one. Last one and we're done. Now this is the same hidden hinge I've been using in all my albums. I enjoy this hidden hinge. It allows me to have however many pages I want for an album. So um, if you're not familiar with hidden hinges, please check out Kathy Orta King on YouTube. Or you could type in Hidden Hinge and her name will pop up and you will be pleasantly surprised at her ingenious way of creating these Hidden Hinges. Right now I'm just going in between each sheet 
and giving them a nice pressing. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this is our book so far. And we have plenty of room to build pages with. So the, the sides here squitchy. You're going to need a scoreboard and a score tool and a pokey tool to help you get your tape backing off and a pair of scissors. You're also going to need a pencil and a ruler and a notebook. And the reason why I say a notebook is because I think a lot of us will follow along and then like keep uh, watching a video. Um, but what happens if YouTube shuts down and you're like, oh darn, I should have wrote everything down. Well, write it as you go. And then that way you'll always have those measurements and you'll always be able to get to them anytime you want to. Um, even if you just want to share it with somebody. You will need double-sided tape. I use a half inch and a quarter inch. You will need glue. And this is my favorite glue right now. Um, I have other glues. That, oh, right there. Okay. All right. This is my favorite glue right now. It's what I'm using. I love it. This is a great glue uh, as well. And it's called Craft Glue by Helmar. <clears throat> it is a quite expensive, though. Um, and I went through this bottle in like three days. And I'm not paying another $5.49 for it. But if you feel it's worth it, go get it. This one is not the best glue for this type of project. It may be best for like if you're uh, gluing plastics, you know, thin plastics together. Um, or anything that doesn't warp when wet. But this, this is a no. This is a yes, and this is a yes. So those two, yes, yes. You are also going to need um, distressing ink and some distressing sponges. And mine I use uh, Black Soot by Tim Holtz and my sponge thingamajig is by Anna Griffin, which is really cool. I love it. It's fun stuff. I love the Tim Holtz black soot. He has another one of my favorite colors. I don't get to use that often, but I'm going to try to use it uh, soon. Then, you're going to need... A mess load. Let me if I can get it open. A black cardstock. This is eight and a half by eleven. I got it at Michaels. It was two dollars a for fifty sheets, and I just bought. Um, I think it was twelve. 12 for $24, 12 packs. And that you can buy it in bulk on michaels.com. You, you, I go through a lot of black paper because all of my bases are always black. So if you don't want black, they do have other colors. Let's see, and we got the tape, we got the squishies, we got your notebook, we got your pencil. Um, <clears throat> 
Don't forget, you're also going to need your paper pads. That one. That one. And then I'm using this paper punch. And I will show you why. It is so beautiful. So, I have these that I've cut to test. And um, it's going to go like that and that and see here's the inside so it's i'm gonna push this out of the way and if i put this one here on this page then i have I can just put the thing on there and show you better that way. <laughs> Trying to hold it in place. It'll be easier for me to show it to you. I'm not trying to make this a really long opening uh, video. But I want you to get a good idea as to why I'm using this particular punch. Okay. This is on the front page of page one. Make sure to stay away from that fold line because that is, you don't want to hinder your pages from folding. Okay, wipe the excess glue off. Okay. Now it's inside. And then this one is going to go on this side. I just started this new book in men. It is a doozy. It's got mystery and suspense and uh, it's got werewolves and they talk about vampires but I haven't seen one yet. But I just started the book so maybe they'll come later. Uh, great little fantasy feast. We'll see. I, it's had me intrigued from the beginning. All right. This one is going to go to the end of here. Ah, careful. There we go. up some of that glue and here's the inside so this one folds this way and this one folds this way and of course we will take uh, I'm just gonna head put them on now because you're going to need um, magnets. If you don't have magnets, check out my last, uh, my second video from my last um, six by six mini album, and uh, it shows you how to make a little swing line. Okay, need a little piece of tape for that.
and you never want to put your magnets at the very end of a sheet. You always want to leave a gap so that the paper you lay down here to cover will um, cover that magnet nice all the way to the lip. All right. Put that there. Get the backing off. If I can get the backing off. <laughs> Normally it's not this difficult. <laughs> Okay, let's try it on my finger. I'm rubbing the tape down on my finger. Trying to loosen up the backing. I'd rather... Oh Lord. Oh no. No, 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 no. We're going to have to move this down. Yeah. <clears throat> well, see, now you learn something new. When you get your tape on there and you think, oh, it's in a great spot, it's not. So we're going to move it to over here. This off. Bring that to there and see if we can get it to go that way. Oh man, that turned out a mess. All right, I will get those back. That's the mess it turned out to be. I will get those back. Uh, and we will just get two more <laughs> magnets. And uh, we will leave it at that. What a mess that was. Let's try this again. Where's my tape? Tape, 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 tape. So now you've learned from my lesson here, which is don't um, put your magnet on this end when you have a fringe here. Put it on this end and that way. It uh, it will be better. Okay. 
I do not normally have this much trouble getting the backing off of this silly tank. So, oh, there we go. Now it's going to, because you knew I was going to get some glue. He was all like, don't get the glue. All right. Now... We should be nice and done. Okay. Strong little tape. And then I just want to put a little tape over that. So it doesn't stick to anything else than what it's supposed to. Alright. So that's this page and I thought you might get a kick out of uh, seeing what it is I created that edge with and this is I went shopping in my mother's craft room <laughs> and this is a Stampin' Up um, number what does that say There's no number, it's a patent number here, and this is 6513413. So there's that, but it doesn't say like what the name of it is. This is what it looks like when you're punching here. So, anyway, that's what I'm using uh, for my edges on there, and I may use it throughout the book. Um, we'll see but I hope you guys um, got all your materials together if not you know there is no rush uh, use what you've got and um, and just play around with it um, all you really need when you're working with a mini album is the base the basics of what size mini album you're going to make how many pages there's going to be in there and um, the paper stock you're going to use so this is um, card stock and then using this one this is just regular paper it's not card stock so you can use a combination of both and still get the same results uh, and remember, it's your project, and it's, it's beauty comes from you. There's no such thing as perfect. All right, um, we will start on our first two pages, which is our inside cover and this page, um, on our next video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. I will get back to you uh, to try and answer any questions as soon as I can. Have a great one. Bye.